Baby Pokemon suck. Can someone explain to me why they're even a thing? I know why they were originally made in Generation 2 games. They wanted to introduce a breeding mechanic, but then they also wanted to show that breeding a Pokemon in the Pokemon world can create variety. You're not just getting the same Pokemon over and over again. They wanted to incentivize you to use the new mechanic by allowing you to find some Pokemon that could only be exclusively obtained by using the daycare. And it allowed Game Freak to fill out the roster by using some baby Pokemon for some previously known Pokemon. But the thing is, all the baby Pokemon in Generation 2, besides maybe Tyro, suck. Did we really need a baby version of Jinx, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Pikachu, Magmar, Electabuzz? What's even the point of them? Sure, they look cute, but that's about it. Most of them don't provide anything meaningful to the game or the world of Pokemon itself. At least Tyrogue allows you to get both Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan and the debuting Hitmontop, and at least Togepi is a Pokemon that you can only get from an egg in those games, so you have an incentive to carry it around, but the other ones are pointless dex fillers that really don't contribute much. The thing is, it wouldn't even be too bad if Generation 2 was one of the only games that had baby Pokemon, but for whatever reason, Game Freak decided that they wanted to reintroduce them in multiple generations, and this time, the Pokemon there are even more useless and the mechanic even more confusing. Generation 3 has Azurul and why not? Well, why not has a cool capture mechanic with it being available in the Mirage Island. However, while that one mechanic is neat on its own, the game doesn't really incentivize you to fully explore that mechanic because you can also get that Pokemon as an egg in Lava Ridge Town. And additionally, Azumarill and Wobbuffet are so much better that there's no point in using the baby Pokemon. But let's say you wanted to get an Azumarill for whatever reason, you can't just breed a Meryl and get one. You would have to get a Meryl holding a sea incense, otherwise you'll just get another Meryl. Again, why? That just makes the breeding mechanic more confusing. And then in Generation 4, they introduce 8 more baby Pokemon, 6 of which are useless. Did we really need Chingling to be a thing? Mime Jr., Bonsai, Hapini? These Pokemon don't provide anything meaningful to the game. The only good ones are Munchlax, which is debatable, and Riolu, but besides that, the rest of them are useless. And similar to Generation 3, you need to use different instances to get the different Pokemon, making the entire mechanic even more confusing. Here's something to consider. If you didn't have the internet, how would you know that you need to give Chimeco the full incense to get a Chingling? I feel like this whole incense mechanic creates more headache than necessary and like I said earlier, it's not like you're eager to get these baby Pokemon because 99% of these baby Pokemon suck. And then for whatever reason, Pokemon in Generation 8 also decided to add a baby Pokemon in Toxel. This one's a bit more tolerable, similar to Riolu ignoring Raid Dance for a second. This is the earliest and fastest way you can get a Toxel. But unlike Riolu, Toxel stats are terrible and it's so frail that it's best to just keep it in the back of your party and use the EXP share and level it up to make it a member of your team. Luckily, with the introduction of candies in Generation 8, it's not that difficult to evolve it. But that takes me to another issue with baby Pokemon, the evolution method. Let's say a Pokemon game does it right, the only way you can get a Pokemon of a certain species by getting the baby Pokemon, I still don't think a lot of people would use it. Why? Because, similar to breeding, Generation 2 also introduced a happiness mechanic to evolve Pokemon, and that has stayed and been the main form of evolving baby Pokemon. Of course there are exceptions, but the majority are happiness based and let me tell you something, no one likes happiness based evolutions. It's a waste of time as it requires you to either spend a bunch of money on vitamins and items to get your Pokemon's happiness up, or you have to run around in a circle for an hour on your bike to get its happiness up that way. Both ways suck for the player and aren't compelling enough reasons to evolve these Pokemon. But you know what, as much as I don't like baby Pokemon now, thank goodness Game Freak reined it in a little bit. If you look at the Generation 2 beta, you can see that originally they were planning to add many more baby Pokemon. That would have been awful. If you look at all these baby Pokemon, most of these are terrible. Do we really need a baby Ponyta, a baby Growlithe, a baby Vulpix? What's the point? Don't those Pokemon already have normal Pokemon that are already decent? The worst one of all of them in this list though is the Baby Doduo. This thing is an abomination. I'm so glad this thing did not make the final game. 
Not only is it ugly, but its design doesn't even make sense. It starts off as a three-headed bird, then evolves into something with two heads, then evolves and regains that third head? What? Imagine if, instead of baby Pokemon, they replaced them with evolutions for Pokemon that needed it. For example, imagine if Sudowoodo got an evolution instead of a Bonds Lie, or imagine if Chimeco got an evolution instead of a pre-evolution. <sighs> I don't know. Here's the thing. I would rather have new evolutions for other Pokemon, but even if you don't want to do that for whatever reason, if you're going to have baby Pokemon, make them worthwhile. There's a couple of ways you can do that. First of all, you can make it so that that's the only way to get that line of Pokemon in that region is starting with the baby Pokemon. That way, if the final evolution of that Pokemon is good, there's an incentive to just use that baby Pokemon. Also, make sure happiness isn't the only way to evolve the Mon. Level up is fine, and so are things like stones. Having varied ways of evolving baby Pokemon could really incentivize people to use the baby Pokemon so they don't have to run around in a circle with their bike for an hour. Or, and this is the simplest thing, you can just make baby Pokemon a bit more usable and not have terrible stats. That's the biggest thing, is baby Pokemon just aren't good enough to use on their own, so most of the time you just have them in the front of your party and then you switch them out so you're always taking a hit at the beginning of matches. No one wants to deal with that. If they were just strong in general, then people would more likely just use them and evolve them to get whatever Pokemon they want and this wouldn't be an issue. Game Freak, you have a lot of options, but I really just hope you make it so that baby Pokemon just aren't so terrible to have on your party. But that's just my opinion. What do you guys think though? Let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at TheRealPDGaming and that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.